Greetings and salutations. My name is Ahmed and let us venture into me and my colleague's website. As you can see, there's an animation. This animation is made out of keyframes and for example, like this bouncing button, uh, its current position is supposed to be here, zero pixels, but we made it translate from uh, from zero to negative 10 pixels every 0 0.5 seconds to maintain its bouncing, uh, bouncing effect. The background color is a moving gradient that uh, we have uh, that is 400 by 400, and the blinking cursor is uh, is an infinite rotation. It's fr going from border transparent to border white. As you can see, when we enter to the main page through the button by using the onclick location.href, we get transported into the main page. You can see the navigation bar. In the navigation bar, there are three main things. Restorers of nature, which is the H1 tag. The navigation menu, which is made by, we made a function called open nav. which uh, brings this by 250 and we have buttons if you want to go into dark mode you may now let us begin the actual firstly what is recycling recycling is the process of collecting and processing materials to put it simply if you have, for example, a glass bottle and someone shattered it, you may throw it away, but you may recycle it and turn it into a new product. The basic phases in recycling are the collection of waste the processing and the manufacturing, which basically means re in recycling, you collect and then you process, you process it into something else like raw material, for example, raw plastic, and then you manufacture this raw material into a new product. But if but if that's what, what but how do we recycle well recycling has many steps as it's a process first collection you collect something but you have to make sure it is recyclable for example plastic glass metal paper then you have to sort it. What do you mean by sorting? Well, there. If you, why, uh, why? Uh, what do you mean by sorting? I mean to observe carefully on each bin and actually sort them out according to each bin. Why do I ask that? Well, firstly, when you recycle something. Each material undergoes many chemical changes. What is a chemical change? Well, a chemical change is when two reactants or more create one product. So, of course, and keep in mind, it is not reversible. So, of course, if you put plastic into glass, that wouldn't work at all. Now, processing. Processing is when you turn it into itself, or raw material. Then you manufacture or create something using the raw material or the recycled material that you already made. You can make new products. Then this is, and now, purchase. Purchase products. This can help economically. Why do we need to recycle? So, recycling has many benefits. For example, creating a 
healthy community, a healthy earth, helping with economy, reducing pollution, creating jobs, conserving natural resources, protecting it, reduces landfill waste, and for what is a landfill, it is a pit or a hole considered to have garbage and that's its own usage and it make and it contains so much rubbish to the point that most that about 10% of our pollution comes from it reduces pollution of course if you recycle you will reduce the risk of getting yourself to con uh, contaminated conserves energy protects energy and creates jobs for example, you could work at a recycling company. And then, the main topic is about AI. How can AI help? Well, artificial intelligence can play a significant role in improving recycling process. For example, automated sorting of recyclables. What this means? that it can automatically which means in it, it can do it by itself forever sort the recyclables into each one for example glass it could sort it into each bin that may considered glass now it predict and it also predicts but this is my it may have errors, but it predicts maintenance for recycling equipment. So it has the ability of knowing if this thing is damaged in the equipment. For example, uh, for example, it may know that, uh, for example, an elevated hand might be damaged. A robotic elevated hand that is used for carrying uh, uh, for uh, carrying rubbish might be damaged and ai can know that optimization of recycling routes recycling routes are routes or streets that uh the um that go to recycling centers where it is uh, the recycling pro uh, the recycled product is later so sold this can help with less fuel consumption identification of new recycling opportunities helps new more people to find more opportunities on work as you can see I created a carousel what does a carousel mean well it's um, it's basically like a spinning and rotating um, circle that's supposed to you can choose any picture and if I made it accessible to everyone uh, we made it accessible to everyone for example you can if you do, if you have a mouse you can you can scroll through the pictures if you have a keyboard you can also scroll through the pictures using the um, using your uh, arrow keys and if you are on mobile you can also scroll and you have previous and next buttons if you do not want to use any of these now how can ai help and how can ai cycle well of course ai have automated sorting it can it can automatic it can sort things ai powered system can accurately which means precisely sort things for example, plastic, metals, and papers, increasing the efficiency and reducing contamination. Contamination is another word for pollution. Waste manage uh, management insights. Well, basically, AI has the ability of looking at patterns and observing it and suggesting stuff. They can suggest ways for improving how waste can be managed and ways and strategies optimized recycling routes AI algorithm can analyze basically means to observe and look for recycling collection routes 
reducing the fuel consumption and makes the environmental impact lower. Reduces and and recycle it can also help with education. AI technology can be used to educate the public about recycling practice, promoting awareness and encouraging sustainable behaviors. Now, how do we how do we humans cycle? Well, of course, recycling varies from location to location. For, for example, if I were was born, for example, in Vienna, and then I go to Toronto, and then I go to the uh, to to Istanbul, and then I go to Toronto, and then I go to uh, then I go to Mexico City, and then I go to Cairo, and then I go to Riyadh. Every single one of these places, the recycle differs from. It. Learn your recycle, learn, uh, recycling numbers. Recycling numbers are basically numbers that symbolize symbols and abbreviations that are supposed to be used by humans, but not not many people use. But they should, as each one has an advantage. For example, PVC is actually dangerous to humans, and you should avoid. It can it can be but each one of these symbols either they can be recycled or they cannot be recycled and some can even be reusable some cannot be reusable and are dangerous and then there are many stuff uh, many substances or stuff you can recycle for example, you can recycle a coffee cup, plastic grocery bag, a plastic wrap. Now, how can AI help in factories? Well, AI can revolutionize the manufacturing industry. They have already done it of course many companies that I'm going to mention have already used AI efficiently effectively they use AI powered systems that up uh, the that automate tasks optimize pr uh, production improve decision-making and pr and are used for maintenance con and quality control AI And AI factories already AI in factories can already analyze vast amounts of data in real life to identify patterns. Does that mean? Well, well, it can look through trends. <coughs> well, it can look through trends and see what and how most waste is coming from what is the reason to this waste and it has it may have the ability someday to stop it they can also protect equipment failures which means that for example if you have a uh, for example if you have um a robotic uh, a robotic uh, computer it's been used for 75 years ai could somehow theoretically find out when this computer might fail and you 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 need to do maintenance <coughs> it can also optimize re, re, so, uh, resource utilization which means how you use your resource the results in, re, increase and in product and productivity so the more productive There are many benefits of AI in factories. How? Increased efficiency, they make it very faster, they make it faster, improved quality, they make it better. For example, they make water 
uh, bottles of water uh, faster and they can improve the quality on them they can also reduce the funds of uh, of how much for example you uh, spend on uh, making one they also have environmental sustainability they have the ability of waste management enhanced innovation they can uh, develop new products processes services now here are the companies i were mentioned firstly we have the company named the recycling company this one i heard was in canada predictive they have used uh, they have implemented ai based predictive maintenance system to monitor equipment health and prevent unexpected breakdowns which means the recycling company have already started to monitor when their equipment will fail and when it m might Cyclobika is an Egyptian company that have developed AI powered sourcing machines in its recycling facilities to automate the separation of recycling materials. This increased recycling, which means they have the ability, they have made the AI powered, the AI has the power of sorting, the, uh, of sorting for example, plastic and <coughs> rub, uh, plastic and metal by the sorting system and then they have polypro which is i heard it's in the balkans of europe which is greece and turkey and bulgaria in that region uh, there's also romania montenegro and many more but those are the main polypro used ai uh, algorithms to optimize its supply chain which basically means it had the ability of uh, they had the ability of planning uh, streets or routes and at, this, at uh, specific times to reduce, reduce firstly to reduce fuel consumption and um, and it also reduced some uh, one more thing it also reduced the, it's the environmental impact. Now, how do we help when in factories? Well, if, firstly, we do the collection process where we collect the material that might not be needed. Then we sort it out. For example, if you have plastics, that you can transport it to the recycling facility, and the machines will sort the uh, the in the plastics automatically washing you will ha you will wash the plastic you will like clothes roots and vegetables did you know, uh, clothes actually uh, clo uh, clothes actually have lots of microplastics in in it. <coughs> resizing of course you have to adjust it for example if i have um for example if i want to create a metal cap i have to adjust it perfectly and precisely to fit the bottle identification and separation so basically when the small plastics are tested to determine the quality and the class so they are tested on what of the symbols they represent so for example if it's a p uh, it's a pet then it will of course it, it will of course be put uh, the symbol of pet will stand out compounding the compounding is often the most exciting part be it's because plastics at this stage will turn into recyclable material examples of recycling Paper recycling, paper recycling is crucial. So, why is it crucial? Well, it helps in reforestation and it can reduce energy and the water needed to produce new paper. Examples of recycled paper products include newspaper, cardboard boxes, office papers, paper towels, and toilet paper. These products can also be recycled into new paper products and they may have new pack uh, packaging material. Plastic recycling. 
Well, of course, plastic uh, recycling helps conserve natural resources, <clears throat> of course, protect it, reduces pollution, and minimizes the amount of plastic waste ending up in landfills and ocean. Plastic pollution is a very big threat as plastic is almost used in everything. For example, packaging. 50% of packaging is used in plastic. Cups. Bottles. There are so many stuff that are made out of plastic. It's unbelievable. And recyclable plastics include PET, HDP containers, plastic bags, and various plastic packaging. And glass recycling. Glass recycling is environmental friendly and it also helps in energy efficient. Recycling glass reduces emit a gas emission, which is basically carbon dioxide and global warming. So what it means that it reduces the amount of carbon uh, of carbon or, ga or or greenhouse gases <coughs> and conserves energy compared to producing new glass from raw material. Recycling glass products include glass bottles, jars, containers. These materials can be uh, recycled endlessly, which basically means it can re be recycled for an infinite time without losing quality and can be the same uh, quality or how uh, the same th uh, thing. How do we re recycle aluminum foil? The right way to recycle aluminum foil. Recycling is crucial in keeping our planets clean and reducing waste. So aluminum foil is common item in many tissues. And but people do not know how to recycle it. <clears throat> this will help our environment and makes sure we can use it resource uh, we can use resources wise. You first need to clean the foil. First make sure your aluminium foil is clean from any leftovers. Food can contaminate the recycling process. Dry the foil after cleaning it to let the foil dry completely. Flatten it out. Next, flatten out the piece of aluminum foil as best as you can. Aluminum recycling works best when we recycle thicker pieces together. Because, why? Because they don't get lost when sorting at recycling centers. Make a ball. Once you have a thick or multiple flattened foils creates a ball roughly about the size of a tennis ball. So basically, about the size of a, t a tennis ball, approximately. Look at the local guys. Different places may have different rules on recycling aluminium. So, check your local recycling guys. Recycling right bin. When everything is checked off clean, the dried out, smooth out place your ball of aluminium in your recycling bin if the local guidelines permit. <clears throat> permit means allow, so do not mix these materials with glass or paper. TVs can be recycled and while the recycling process may involve some legwork, it's often reasonably easy, so it's very easy to recycle a TV, and it does not, it's not as troublesome as some stuff. If you have an unwanted TV, <coughs> you can especially <coughs> recycle it. Like many electronics, TV contain a variety of minerals, Mostly, they contain heavy metals, toxic, uh, toxins, and plastics. You need to deal with them fast or <clears throat> pollution risks. If not dealt with properly, recycling of a TV and other East waste is required by the law in 25 U.S. Which is mean? <coughs> what What does this mean? It means that if you have a TV and you you still it's still work it's it's broken 
you have to recycle it as there are toxins. What are toxins? They're toxic substances, and because of the process of bioaccumulation, which will increase the toxins or the concentration of the toxins, you will die eventually if you do not <coughs> recycle it. Uh, no, if you do not recycle it safely. In 25 of the U.S. states, they actually banned them, and some are completely banned from landfills. So, uh, some TVs are completely banned from landfills. What does that mean? That TVs are not supposed to be in landfills entirely, so you will never see one. Even if you face no legal consequences for tossing a TV into the trash, however, there are also practical and ethical reasons why recycling is a better decision. TV, TV has many harmful stuff. For example, it produces radiation. That's why most parents say, do not go near the TV. The key to recycling TV and other electronic devices is efficiently separating the different materials inside so they can be dealt with individually. So you separate the materials that are inside, for example, the motherboard, the, the cables. <coughs> when the TV <coughs> first arrives at the recycling center, they often check to see if they can typically be repaired and reused. So, <coughs> what does this mean? Does that mean that, firstly, they do not want to recycle it on first hand. They might see if it can be repaired. If, they, if it can be repaired, it can be given back to you, or it can be it can be reused. If none of the options work, <clears throat> or if none are viable, they will dismantle the parts. The remaining of the TV may go through a shredded a shredder, which is a, which is a, a which basically is a machine that has many well that shreds stuff. It's kind of used for wood. <clears throat> and metals. The remaining of your TV may go a shredder with magnets helping remote steel and iron <clears throat> get off. TVs may be recyclable, but that doesn't mean they can go in your curbist bin. It is also a good idea to check if your local recycling or waste authority accepts e-waste in some form like special pickup days or drop-off events. Just don't expect it to be quite easy. <coughs> but then, if your TV still works, your Outlook, <coughs> so how can you reuse an old TV? Some charities accept TVs for donation, including some local kidney charities like Atlanta, based American Kid Service, which basically means <clears throat> some charities you could donate these TVs or purchase them. These these charities are for kids, mostly for kids that aren't able to afford it. How much does uh, How can plastic waste be recycled? The plastic we use in our kitchen, even if we use it more than once, eventually, and I mean eventually, and quickly, ends up in the trash. <clears throat> the problem is, plastic takes a long time to, well, get off the earth, if, if even, for example, some foods uh, or glass takes a so it takes a uh, takes a little it takes a little more time than plastic, but plastic takes so much time. It takes about one thousand years to get rid of plastic, and it will be cost. Firstly. You think of all the products you can buy, wraps, containers, serving, wear, and more. That has the singular appeal of being disposable. You're buying heaps of stuff just to throw it away. What do you, what do you mean? It means all of the stuff you are just buying 
after about one use or so, you will throw it away. Every loaf of sliced bread comes with a free back, right? She would ring. Likewise, any container that comes your way, a euchre part, for example, take out dishes, a tub, or a tray, is one more you can use and reuse for food in fridge and freezers, which this means it's about a, um, it is about someone who would take the bread bags and reuse it. That is a way of actually reusing. You reuse stuff that you took for free and actually make a profit. Reuse or avoid uh, sealable bags. Why do you not use sealable bags? The bags um, the bags cannot be rinsed easily and turned inside out to be dry and used again. Re reusable wrappers. Wrappers can be reusable. Say no to turn wear. Plate over bowl. Bowl over plate. Serving, buy in bulk, hipster sips, cloth napkin, clean up, slop rags, color coordinate, garbage pail, minimize packaging, buy in bulk, paste on plastic, buy big, no wrappers, no lunch kit, let produce breath. Now, the last one, why recycle? Recycling helps to reduce pollution, conserve natural resources, and minimize waste. It's essential for creating a substantial environment for future generations. The recycling process involves collecting, sorting, processing, and re-manufacturing items to create new products. It's a crucial step in reducing waste and conserving resources. Benefits of recycling. Ben uh, recycling has numerous benefits, including reducing landfill waste, conserving energy, and pre uh, preserving natural resources. It also helps to combat, challenge, and protect wild ha fire life habits. Recycling has so many benefits, like conserving natural resources. Recycle, uh, for example, you could recycle paper and wood that saves trees and forests, recycle plastic, creates less plastic, which is which is made from fossil fuel, recycling metals, since there is less need for risky, expensive, and damaging mining, recycling of glass, reduces the new need to use new raw material like sand, protect the ecosystem and wildlife, Re recycling reduces the need to grow, harvest, or extract new raw materials reduce the demand for raw materials so basically makes there be less raw materials the world's increasing demand for new stuff has led for the more of the uh, for, so for the poorest to be more poor and most vulnerable of people so the more so the more uh, the people that were damaged the most for example, those living around the forest or river systems being displaced from their homes or otherwise exploited forest communities can find themselves ev uh, evacuated as a result. Saves energy, producing new aluminium from old products, including recycled, can use 95% less energy. For steel, it's about 70%. That is drastically less making paper uses 40 percent less energy from scratch if you make it if you use it for scratch you're using 40 percent more paper uh, energy than making it uh, or recycling it the amount of energy saved from recycling one glass bottle could power an old 100 watt light bulb for four hours 100 watts for four hours and a new and low energy LED equivalent for a, lo a lot longer. Cuts climate changing carbon emissions. So basically what are carbon emissions? They are 
uh, which gas emissions, which are greenhouse gases, because recycling mean, uh, means you're going to use less energy on sourcing and processing new raw material, it produces low carbon emissions, it also potentially methane releasing waste out of land sites. Cheaper than waste collection and disposal. Lambitha Council in London pointed out it is six times cheaper to dispose of your recycling waste than ger uh, general refuse. Tackles youth unemployment, so people are not getting employed that by jobs. So recycling helps people to be employed instead of propping up to declining uh, 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 polluting industry the government must must a uh, future proof live hold by investing in more green jobs right now young people are being taught and given career advice on jobs that may not even exist in 10 years we're setting them up to fail where we could be training them to succeed Thank you.